Have you ever wondered how to ruin Vanessa, the Fire Valkyrie? Well, if you have, then this is the video for you. Okay, so I will be showing you guys a few ways that you can ruin Vanessa so that you guys can succeed in ruining her. But if you build Vanessa with just HP and defense, you won't be able to fully utilize her kit. And I will show you guys why. So, obviously her first skill is just based off attack. I don't know why they did this to all these units. Like the ones that are based off HP or defense. They're all still based off of attack. Which honestly doesn't really make sense. But I guess it doesn't actually matter. Because you can't control this skill. This is just the basic skill that she uses. This is where things get interesting. So, let's say that you do build Vanessa just on a lot of HP and defense. And... You don't really worry about attack because obviously she's a knight. Why does she need attack, right? She's just supposed to be a meat shield. Well, Vanessa is special because she defense breaks, which is honestly really good because it's an AoE defense break. But she her damage is based off the target's max HP. So if you only build her for HP and defense and you don't add any crit rate or crit damage, you are technically missing out on the whole second part of this skill. Since it's based off the target's max HP, it means that the more crit damage you have, the more damage she will do. And I understand that she's a tank, but like, do you want a unit that just sits there and soaks up damage? Or do you want a unit that sits there and does what a tank should do, but also dishes out damage here and there? Obviously, you don't want her to be like your main damage dealer. But you can make her your main damage dealer if you want her to be. It's kind of risky though because she will be getting hit by everybody. So the way that I personally have her built is I have some crit rate. This could be higher. At least 70 would be pretty good. And then some crit damage. Nothing crazy. You could probably get this a lot higher. However, I have her ruined with... um, What is that set called? Foresight. So that way she can dodge the hits and do her job as a tank much better i don't use her as my main damage dealer i use her as a tank but i like her doing damage that way she doesn't just sit there and just do nothing so yeah if you want to take advantage of this you want to add some some stuff some stats to these two skills right here you also want to put some attack on her because obviously it's based off attack but this really doesn't do much what does damage is this the targets max hp so her third skill is just a uh, attack up so she increases your teammates attack or her teammates attack and her own attack which is pretty nice and she revives with 55 percent hp so she can be a reviver, a defense breaker, a tank, and she can do damage. I don't know why you guys haven't built her already. Her ultimate is just basically everything into one skill, which is insane. The multiplier is insane. This skill actually does a crap ton of damage when you use it. I think mine hits like 30k and she doesn't even have any attack because this is insane. So yeah, I mean, if you need to get out of a sticky situation just use this and you can kill a lot of things with it i think it also revives units yeah it revives up to two units with 80 percent hp so she is honestly like an insane reviver she heals as well i believe if uh yeah if they're alive she adds continuous recovery if all the team members are alive and then her first skill if she kills anybody with this another reason why you should put crit rate and crit damage and some attack because if she kills somebody with this she's gonna use seal of fire which i believe is the defense break so now let's get down to the important part mine is only awaken 11 so that's why her stats are kind of bad once she gets to 15 her stats will be a little bit better so the way i have vanessa ruined and the best way that i th personally think you should ruin her is hp percent obviously and then you want some crit rate and some attack and precision so that if she goes against anybody that dodges she can hit her skills so she can defense break and this is just a really bad roll a flat attack but i mean it helps up here and then 
I have her defense because she's a tank. So, you know, you want her to tank, but you also want her to have HP. And then the rest of these stats were just basically tank stats, accuracy, evasion. And then I keep putting crit rate and crit damage. I probably have a better rune than this, but oh well, if whatever works. And then again, big HP substat with some crit damage. This could use some crit rate on it, but the thing with this game is you want power and having more stats equals more power. So I put defense and attack percent up here so I can get her power higher. And then I have her again on HP with again, just stats to give you power, some crit rate, defense, HP and resistance. So mainly tank stats basically, which is HP and defense, but you want to throw in some crit rate and crit damage in there. Make sure your accuracy is decent, your resistance is okay. Your precision is pretty important because she won't hit basically if they have like full foresight. And your evasion, eh, you can throw some evasion in there I guess. 50% is okay, it's not great, but you know, what are you going to do? But this is the best way that I think you can build her. However, if you want to go full damage which i've done this this is how i had her when i first started playing the game which is like attack 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 with like some hp query rate and crit damage this is from my theo mars but my theo mars obviously has higher query rate and crit damage than her so his stats here are better but like you could also go do this and just make her a damage dealer she does a lot of damage so you know I wouldn't really recommend this because she gets hit but then again she does a lot of damage so if you want to make her your main defense breaker slash damage dealer then you can go ahead and do that it works I've used it multiple times I that is like one of the only units I've used since I started playing the game see and I can honestly tell you that it works she she's a pretty good damage dealer on her own but I like her better this way. You could also go obviously the third way which is just full HP and defense and 100% evasion with 100% resistance, zero crit rate and zero crit damage and just have her be a, a complete tank. But I I don't have any of my units built that way because I don't like that play style but if that's your thing then you know. You can go ahead and do that. It works. I think I had her like that for a little bit I didn't really like it because again she didn't bring anything to the table but it works I guess if you have Orbia as your main I have Keena as my main so I kind of base all my uh, units on her because she provides buffs and stuff so I don't really need a unit to just sit there and soak up damage and do nothing but yeah I guess uh, I should cut it short I don't really know how long this is hopefully it's not longer than 15 minutes so I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did and you want me to make other unit videos, make sure to uh, leave a like and comment and let me know what you thought. If you want me to do a specific unit, I will do my best because obviously I don't have every unit, but I have quite a bit of units. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next